This video is going to be on installing bilge keels. Uh, bilge keels are, are this part right here. Uh, they run along the side of the hull and they help reduce the ship's tendency to roll, uh, specifically mainly in corners uh, when they're turning. They're more important on smaller ships like the cruiser, the Lutzow that I'm showing here, but you can use them on larger ships as well. You see Congo, We've got some on there too. This will be a pretty short video. I'm going to put them on Charn Horse just because uh, it is kind of a long and narrow boat. The way I make them is pretty simple. I'll use um, strips of basswood, eighth inch. These are eighth inch by a quarter inch. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of I'll CA glue these onto the side of the hull and then I will fiberglass on both sides to make them rigid. The applicable rules for bilge keels are that they can't extend more than 3 eighths of an inch from the surface of the hull. So I'll use, I'll use two quarter inch pieces at first and then I'll fiberglass those but then I'll cut them down so it's only 3 eighths inch from the hull. And then I'll fiberglass the other side. This is something that can be done at any portion of the build. In the past I've always done it on boats that were already finished because once I tried them out they were rolling too much. But it's kind of easier to do it at this stage before the boat sheeted. Uh, and that'll also allow me to kind of fiberglass from the top. I've always fiberglassed from the bottom on the other ones because I can still smooth it out uh, before I put the sides on. The typical length will be, I don't know, about a third of the boat, maybe a little bit less in the middle. Uh, you can see I already kind of roughed up the surface with the Dremel and sanded it. So I'll pretty much just uh, take the first piece, try to line it up, and then use CA glue to hold it in place. I've got the first portion glued down, so you can see just on the end there. Uh, so first I, I lined it up without glue to make sure I knew an angle, drew a little mark, put glue on the underside, put it on there, and hit it with kicker. Uh, so that, that stabilized, so now that will allow me to kind of bend the other piece, bend the rest of it on. So what I'll do here is I'll put glue along the rest of the length on the underside. I'll bend it, and then I will hit it with kicker. The first piece is attached. Went on pretty smoothly. So one thing I want to look out for is uh, making sure it's not really going to stick out beyond the bottom. Uh, as you can see right there, I'll have a pretty good good amount of space. It can be harder on the smaller boats, so it's another reason to fiberglass it because if it extends past the bottom uh, you might end up with all the weight of the boat on them. Well the CA is good to, to hold it on there, definitely not sturdy enough for any sort of uh, long-term use. Another thing to look out for is just this distance here. Um, just making sure you're going to have enough place to put the balsa, so, I don't know, you got what, like three quarter inch or so, which should be plenty, but if the windows are deeper, you'd want to take that into account as well. So now the next step is I'll just glue this uh, second piece on the first piece. This one's usually a little bit easier. Second piece is attached, went on pretty easily. You can see it's sticking out way more than 3 eighths of an inch from the hull, but that's fine. This is really just the template. So now I will uh, swap over and repeat on the other side. Now side 2 is done. You can see it's sticking out pretty far, but that's fine. You can see from above. So that'll get cut down a lot. So now the next step, I'm going to put some tape. Uh, Put some tape over this edge, 
and then fiberglass it from the underside, and then the tape will be to prevent epoxy from leaking out from underneath because there are kind of some gaps because of the, the bend. At this point I have both sides taped up and I have fiberglass cut ready to go. Got strips of mat and then some cloth. So the plan will be to just put mat along here and then some, some on the hull and then use the, the cloth to, to bridge the gap and then reinforce it specifically in, in the front, in the rear, and in the middle a little bit. I have the first patch of epoxy down, fiberglass, I think it should come out pretty good. So I'll let this dry overnight, pull the tape off, then uh, cut it down so it's, it's 3 8 from the hull, and then sequentially get the uh, upper side of, of each of them. The uh, epoxy cured well, which is always a good thing. Uh, so now I'll use the Dremel and I'll kind of clean up this bottom where the mat was, um, clean up these strands, and then we'll, uh, I already marked this here, so I measured out three eighths of an inch. Um, so I'll be I'll be trimming a long line there, and then I'll also uh, kind of angle it there like that uh, to get it to the right size, and then I will be uh, fiberglassing right here a little bit so. This surface is a little more resistant to uh, either rams or uh, BB damage. I have the bilge keels cut down to 3 8 inch and uh, cleaned up on the bottom. As you can see there, uh, much nicer. Um, so now the plan will be to just cut fiberglass strips to uh, put down here and then probably put one layer of mat, one layer of cloth. Um, and then just the effect of the fiberglass, this is uh, pretty strong now. So the wood's really just kind of the, the filler where the, uh, the fiberglass is providing the real strength on this. So I'll probably tape it up a little bit just so the uh, epoxy doesn't get everywhere. Cut out some strips and uh, I'll have to do this one time at one side at a time just by putting the boat on its side here. It'd be easier to do. I have it uh, taped up here pretty quickly so it contain on the ends there. And then I will use the uh, strips of mat and then the strips of cloth on top to get a nice kind of smooth finish. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bridge the cloth onto the hull because um, I don't think it's going to hold that corner that well. I don't think I need to. So simple layer, layer mat first uh, and then layer cloth. Bilge keels are just about finished up so I added the fiberglass on the top uh, and then and then cut it down, so you kind of have this uh, this sandwich of fiberglass and wood, which should be uh, pretty strong. The last thing I'll do is uh, when I'm doing some other epoxying, I'll I'll just put a layer on the outside to seal up that edge. Um, that's about it. Let's wrap this video up. So I added the bilge keels. What they do is help stabilize the boat, mainly in a turn. I'm about this big, really. Not necessary, uh, but they can help a little bit. Put it on at this stage of the build because you can see there's kind of a mess here on the top edge. I don't need to worry about the uh, the sheeting getting in the way. So hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.